So, two perhaps less familiar names on the world tour, taking each other on. And their first meeting as well. So an opportunity for both of these, uh, one of these ladies, yeah, one of these women. It's a big, big chance here, big shot at a, a Super 300 final, which would be uh, something very special in their careers. Tell more about that in just a short while as we uh, find out a little bit more about these, uh, these two. So Esther Nurmi Triwado, just 18 years of age, 170 centimeters tall, right from the uh, eastern side of uh, Indonesia, Jayapura. Ranking is 49th, the best was 48, but she reached a high of seventh in the junior rankings. So it's obviously something about her here. She dropped a game against her compatriot, Putra Kusumi, uh, Putri Kusuma Wardali, sixth seed. How tight was that one? 26-24 in the third. Hasn't looked back since. Obviously something quite special about her. And even more so from her opponent, Tomoka Miyazaki, who's uh, just 17. 165 from you know, one of the major cities in Japan, Osaka. She's 75th in the world, so a fair bit lower rank than her opponent but she was number two in the junior rankings and in her time she has won the indonesia masters and there she's uh, dropped a couple games in the last two matches that's another big one natsuki nadaira her compatriot seventh seed they're both taken out a seed and that one went to 78 minutes, just like Wang Tuwei in the to previous play? match. Wonder. We saw it took a lot out of him. So, Miyazaki has won the Guatemala Future Series as well. Lakpere Edrisinghe from uh, Sri Lanka is our umpire. Mohamed Lamil Kateb from Canada, the service judge. She also won the Saipan International this year. And was uh, runner-up at the North Marianas Open. This is uh, Miyazaki I'm talking about. That's for Wardoyo. She won Indonesia Masters. There were two of them, by the way, in uh, October. She won the first of those. And actually, her opponent won the second. She also won the Indonesia international challenge earlier this year but what a chance for both of these girl, uh, ladies one of them to get through fantastic Come opportunity on. jeff ladies and gentlemen on my right tomoka miyazaki japan <laughs> and on my left esther nurumi triwardova indonesia 
Tomo Kamiyasaki to serve, low ball, play. So just to give you Service over. a bit more of an idea, one love. Wardoy has only played 15 matches in total on the World Tour. She only just got into it this year, and, and including majors as well. And Miyazaki, only 11 matches Two on the World Tour. So love. this is really, really new territory, isn't it? And already you're into a uh, on the brink of a final. Definitely a great opportunity for these two Three. young Lock. women singles players and the start of their senior careers, basically. Hey. Service over. One, three. Both of them have taken out a seed as well. Oh, wonderfully placed. Two, Miyazaki. three. Long now, Miyazaki. So it's over. Four, two. I feel like this is going to end up being quite a physical game here. What makes you say that? What, what What's giving that away for you? Probably more just the playing styles here. Um, I think that Miyazaki might have a little bit more explosive power and ability to finish off the rally. I think that they're, they're very much happy to move their opponent around the court a lot, which is what we're seeing. So it's over. Three, four. And quite often with that, we do have extended rallies, as we've been seeing so far already. Service over, five, three. Change the channel. Six, three. Three-point lead it's opened up here for Wardoyo. Quite a few more errors coming off the racket of Miyazaki as well. Oh, great half smash there. Lovely. Seven, three. Great placement. A little bit of a hold, so it didn't made made the opponent made Miyazaki wait a little bit before moving. And really sharp. So it's over four, seven. Well, in a brief career, Miyazaki, she's been to two semi-finals. That was the, the two Indonesia Masters, and as I said, they were back-to-back. -back. One in September, one in October. And lost one and won one. about the errors so that coming from Miyazaki. Eight, four. As we saw then, but in that rally there, 
Wadoya was really pushing her opponent around. Really good punch clears, really good variation. I do feel so far that she has had very much the control of the match and control of the points. Just beyond the reach there. Wonderful. So it's over five, eight. I feel that's where Miyazaki really needs to take advantage. I do think she's a, a faster player overall. Thank you. So she needs to really put the pressure on by adding speed to her game. She can't play too slow because Wadur's technique and her placement is, is really solid. So if you give her too much time, it's going to be quite hard for yourself. So you've got to add that pressure on, add that speed into each rally. Just like that shot there. So, so it's over. What a shot that was for Wadur. Nine, five. That half smash disguise. Just at the last, at the last second, at the last millisecond, just adding that speed and bringing that shuttle down quickly. That's good. So it's time over. Well, is threatening to just start six, to run away with it. Nine. Miyazaki pegs her back. Great angle there again. So it's over. Ten six. Well, because their world tour careers are so nascent, they've uh, barely been on it. Look so at it's overall over. their record. Seven, ten. In semi-finals uh, across all events. Wadoyo's uh, won nine out of thirteen. It's a pretty good record actually. Miyazaki's won seven out of eight. <laughs> Great shot there. Taking that shuttle early. Eight. As we said before, really pushing ten. that speed, making Wadoyo really Play move on. quickly, change directions quickly here. Hey. Oh, That's missed got to be opportunity. Nine, there. Yeah. Really good return of serve, though. That hold. Golden opportunity to finish the point off there. Unfortunately, met the net along the way. Well, this is very good from Miyazaki. Who was trailing by four, nine, uh, five, nine. And it's won five of the last six points. And in fact, now has taken the lead for the very first time 11, in 10, this match. In and what a time to do it at the interval. Miyazaki leads 11 10 in game one. Twenty 
11, 10. So you, you were saying nine. what Miyazaki had to do early, which he actually started to do. What about uh, from Wadoya's perspective? Yeah, so it's tricky now because 12, Miyazaki's really added the speed. 10. So she's not giving Wadoya the time to play all of the shots of her variation, which her technical skills are, are, are really good. Oh, that's unlucky there. Oh. A really good opportunity there. Yeah. She 13, is, 10. She's asking for do it do it a challenge. I'm not sure that would have been in any way. Well, we talked about that previous game where there were little 40, shifts of momentum. This one's 10. really gone quite spectacularly in uh, Miyazaki's way. Eight points in a row. Done. Very, very nicely done. Ten. So this is where it's a bit tricky for Wado now because if she plays too slow, then Miyazaki's really dominating the rally. But at the same time, if she if she tries to push too fast and it clears her too her, her clears her too flat or lifts her too flat, then Miyazaki's able to cut them off and add speed on them. So now we have this fine balance between making sure that the, the shuttle is not too slow, but also making sure that it's pushing Miyazaki to all four corners. 16, I mean, 10. this is an outstanding run of points. It's 10 in a row here for Miyazaki. You remember, Wadoya was 10-6 up. What a huge turnaround this is. So it's oh. over hey. 11, 16. Much needed point there for Wadoyo. Has it come a little too late for Wadoyo? So not, it's over. Not an easy point you won't be giving away like 11. that at this crucial no, stage. Absolutely not. After working so hard to, to claw back a point after a straight run of 10 points. Great defensive oh, shot. Very nice. Nice. You're done. <laughs> so it's over. She played so well. 12-17. Frustrated with herself there, Miyazaki. Still has a nice five-point lead here. Hey. Oh, just in. So it's over. 18, 12. Reminder that 12 of the last 14 points have gone her way. Hey. These are coming few and far between, aren't they, for Wardoyo? 13, yeah, it's, it's 
18. It, out there, it just looks like it's it's difficult for her to win the points. And every time she wins a point, she has to do quite something quite spectacular. Well, it seemed quite easy for her earlier on, didn't it? Yeah, it looked like she was really controlling the points and, and <laughs> dictating the play. But now with this increased so in speed from Miyazaki, 19, 13. there's just not as many options. She's taking the options away from the Indonesian. bit unlucky there, Miyazaki, so that it's all clear from Odeo was extremely 19. flat, easy to be cut off, lucky to get away with that one. I think that the, the shot quality really needs to be pushing Miyazaki right into the corners. That one should be good. So it's over. And it's 20 six game points game point for Miyazaki. 14. Well, game. it's been a very, very good turnaround here from uh, Miyazaki, who was Miyazaki, trailing 6-10 and managed to win 15 of the next 19 points, including 10 in a row. And she takes that first game against Wardoyo. Nice and comfortable in the end, 21-14. Uh, Second game, love all, play. Uh, it's got to hurt Wado somewhere, Jeff, that she was actually in fairly good control the first half of that game, and then it all went quite wrong for her. One, love. Uh, but that's, uh, let's not take the credit away from Miyazaki as well, as well who, as you, as you had said, maybe just needs to up the speed a bit. So it's over. Yeah, I think it's going to be really important One here for Wadoya to... Because Miyazaki's serving short each time. And 
she needs to take advantage of that. I, think, I feel like she needs to take that serve up higher, put pressure on the return of serve so that she can get a bit of an up in hand at the start of each rally. Because if she's too passive with that and it gets into the rally and Miyazaki adds her speed, then it, it gets difficult for her. So I think Two, she needs to start every point one. with as much initiative as possible. And by initiative, I mean dictating your point, not just following. Service over. Oh, well done. Would want to certainly cut those sort of shots out. There's Aris. Great shot. Wipe the board. So it's over. Stretching for that one there. Three, two. Maybe going for a little bit too much when she was off balance here. Trying to play kind of like a, a deceptive slow drop around the head. Thank you. Shuttle was a little bit too far behind her. Just made Five, it. Two. This is similar, isn't it, to what happened in the first game? Yeah, really good start here by Wado. She'll be aware, of course, that her opponent can turn it on. So it's over. Three, five. Those kinds of shots where Miyazaki's really turning her opponent you know, side to side. She's getting quite a bit of success when she's attacking that way. That's a really good oh, return of serve. Lovely. So, that, so that's what I was talking about. So she can't just be passive six, off those returns of serve. Three. She can't just let them drop and, and play them and make it too easy for Miyazaki. She needs to really step up on that return. See if she can put Miyazaki under a little bit of pressure to start each rally. And then she'll have more time and she'll be able to play her variation in her shots and use her really good technique. Now she's so starting to bear down four, on that lead again. Six. Service over, seven, four. Good return of serve again. Hey. Pushing it into the deep forehand corner. Out. Yeah. Certainly we saw a lot of this from Miyazaki early on, Four. didn't we, in the first game as well. Yeah, just with the unforced errors. But I think after one set in, she would have settled a little bit. Right. But um, they have definitely crept in again. <laughs> Certainly affecting her opponent too. So it's over. Five, eight. So it was 10-6 uh, that Wadori was leading in the last game, which saw Miyazaki put on a stunning run. It was it's 8-4 here. It was. Miyazaki, could she do something similar? Hey. 
Yeah, great shot. So it's over. Yeah, Nine, I kind of during five. that run of Miyazaki's in the first game, Wadeo almost looked a bit stunned about by that momentum that Miyazaki had built up. Sometimes when you do lose several points in a row, it's kind of like, oh, what next? Yeah. It's, you, you run out of ideas a so little bit So it's over six, nine. But with the errors that we're seeing here, obviously we're talking about two very young players, 17 yes. and 18 year olds. So in this kind of age group, in the maturity of the players, this can creep in where there's more unforced errors than in the, in the higher levels. Seven, nine. Lead is cut to two. Cast your mind back to your very young days there, Jeff. I, I remember experiencing the same things. <laughs> too many unforced errors, going for too much. And I guess also that there's that youthful exuberance that you probably react more to things, right? Whereas I guess as you got older, you, you, you learn how to just move on from the from the point that you may have just lost. Is that right to say? Yeah. And you, you move on, but you also... Learn from that, right? Yeah, you learn from it and determine which point you can be a little bit crazier and go for more risks. And right. you learn from the ones you shouldn't in the important points of the match, depending on the score, depending on how the opponent is looking and feeling. Well left. So it's all not something we've said too many times today. Eight, ten. Hey. Oh, that's really nicely done. Wipe the court. Nine. Now, this is uh, ten. One of us going to start playing on Wardoyo's mind. Return the shuttle. Wardoyo. Similar Wardoya. scenario Return in the first, the right? Yes. Reaching ten before her opponent. Just missed that one. So it's over 11 9 interval. So this time, Wadoya goes into the mid game interval up 11 9. Didn't give that lead away. Eleven nine play. So a crucial juncture here in this second game in the match uh, between Wadoyo and Miyazaki. Game two with Wadoyo trailing here by a game, but she's leading in the second. Ah! 
So it's over 10, 11. So the interval might be just what Miyazaki needed. Get her back on track. Oh. So it's not. over <laughs> twelve ten. Cross court, excellent from Miyazaki. So over. Great shot. 11, and as we were saying 12. before, they're the shots that are really working against Wadoyo, the ones that are turning her from side to side. The quick angles. So not that much power in the shot in itself, but just the quick, steep angle. So it's over. Ah. 13. Oh, certainly 11. Fighting hard to keep Miyazaki at bay. Change the Now, 14, starting to edge away. 11. Three points clear here, Amardoyo. That's the biggest lead she's had in a while. Since she was 8-5 up. Oh. A few errors 15, creeping in here. 11. From Miyazaki. So, key to press home her advantage here. She's leading by four. There's that cross again, and it's a good result again for Miyazaki. So it's over. You feel she should quicken things up again? I think she definitely needs to. She, because now Wado has the control of the, the rallies again. She's got plenty of time to play her shots, push her to all four corners. those errors like so that. It's, yeah. it's the right play. She's up early. She's 16, putting the pressure on, but it's just these 12. errors that are letting her down a bit here now. Hey. That's good. 17, Mordoyo. 12. Leading by five. Are we going to be entering our first match of the day? Hey. That'll go to three. Oh. Another good smash down the backhand side. 18, so they're looking 12. really confident now. Yeah. So in the first set, we were saying she was looking a bit stunned, a little bit confused as to what hey. to do, but now looking really confident. Unless Miyazaki so can pull something out the bag 18. here, out the hat. But I think it's got to be now. She's yeah. got to get at least 
a few points here, I think. Yeah, get within that striking distance. To put that pressure on as well. Great return serve. So it's all well. So just, just not letting that return 19, serve just drop down. She's 13. really taking it to her. Using her deception as well. Um, yeah, so starting the points off a lot better than she was in the first set. Here's what do you. So it's over 14, 19. Saying a little 15, run. I mean, it's still a four point lead. 19. Should still favor Wardoyo. Change the shuttle. With the scoreboard pressure, might start creeping in yeah. here if Miyazaki can get the next couple of points. So it's over. We've talked about that short serve before. 15, Five game ah, points here game for point Wadoyo. 15. Game. Ah. Nicely done by Wadoyo. She's bounced second back and taken the second Esther game. We are going into a third. Wadoyo won the second. 21-15. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Pardon. Final game. Love all. Play. One lock. So this uh, final game then between Wardoyo and Miyazaki, you'd think Wardoyo would come in with the momentum from the previous game. One wrong for Miyazaki, just uh, in terms of the, the pace of the game? I think the pace, and she just turned a little bit more passive. Um, and then that just uh, gives the opportunity for 
Odoya to, yeah, to use her strengths. So if, what I'd really like to see from Miyazaki here is to really step up that speed, to really try to push, push the speed and add the pressure so on. So it's over. Two, one. But then conversely for the Indonesian Wadoe, I'd, I'd really want to see her taking that return of serve early as she's been doing to create pressure from the start. Hey. And then once she can do that, then she can use her variation. I think she's got to really make sure she varies Four. things. Three, one. Well, the cross court has been effective for us. The cross court short, shot. Two, three. And that speed, the, the addition of the speed there really Four, helped that rally for me as after. I remember in the previous two games, it has been Wardoyo who's had the better start. I just wonder as well, so over, with Wardoya having that 78-minute quarter-final, well, that, that might be a factor as well. We saw how that affected Wang Tsui Wei. Mm. I think I don't see her, like, any signs of fatigue here. Yeah. So I don't think it's going to play too much of an effect unless we get, unless we have some really long rallies deep into this third set. So it's over, five, four. Exchanging points at the moment, these two, which was not something we saw so much of. But in one of the uh, previous two games. Six, This time, the gamble four. doesn't pay off. Right on the line there. By three, now Miyazaki. Four. What do you make of that serve, uh, Jeff Miyazaki's? I think the quality of her short serve is actually quite good, uh, despite the fact that her her swing is actually quite big. Yes. So the consistency of her short serve is actually pretty good for a forehand short serve. But she has been mixing it up a little bit with some flick serves because yes. I do feel that she's feeling the pressure so it's from over. Wadoyo in their Five, service returns. Seven. Nothing is there. 
Why is it that we see so many more backhand serves rather than forehand serves? Nothing is there. I think in terms of the, the speed of the, no the shuttle really traveling receive? over the net, um, the backhand serve, usually the shuttle will travel a bit faster towards the opponent. Whereas because the forehand serve is a bit of a longer swing, and it's usually when you hit, when you make contact with the shuttle, it's actually a little bit further to your side, so it's not as close to the net. So the travel time is longer to get to the other side of the court. So it's over eight, five. This is good from Miyazaki. So it's over six, eight. Excellent work for Miyazaki. So it's over. Showing nine glimpses of what we saw six. in the first game, didn't she? Mm -hmm. There's that flick. Finding a mark, Miyazaki. Four clear here. Ten, six. And the quick kind of half smashes or fast drop shots there are really working well. The ones that are changing the angle quickly against Wado. One six of the last eight points. Miyazaki. So it's over, seven, ten. Looking to reduce the deficit before the interval, Bartoyo. Remember it was uh, Miyazaki who was down by this sort of score line in the first before storming back spectacularly. Really good point there, but disappointing that Eight. Miyazaki's finished that Ten. off with an unforced error, but good, really good point by both players. Chenzo. You know, Doyle looked to be in a bit of trouble there, Livet. Starting to battle back here. Casually so it's over walk and watch that go out. And Miyazaki, three-point lead here in the third game, 11-8.
Wipe the court. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Players for Concord. Spread. Guardo ya. Spray only one time. Spray only one time. Eleven, eight, play. Oh, well, you there, Kip. So a bit of spray, nine, which, uh, as we 11. know, cures just about everything, uh, Jeff. It just makes your, your muscles feel really good, <laughs> instant ice. If you're uh, Miyazaki, you want to try and exploit that situation, don't you? Oh, good gets here. Oh. Nicely done, but okay. <laughs> killed off. I mean, you're now gonna. So it's over. You're gonna move your opponent nine. around as much as you can, aren't you? You obviously want to capitalize on this. Uh, to an extent, yeah, but it can also be really distracting. Oh. It can okay. actually be extremely distracting and difficult to play against Thank someone you. if you know that they're dealing with an injury. And you Come might on. think that's counterproductive thinking, but okay. if you kind of adapt your game plan to this newfound information. It can limit the way you play, and sometimes it's just overthinking it. Oh, okay. Interesting perspective. Oh. Like the now, point. after every point, she sort of pauses and looks down, and 13, I'm not sure about her nine. mobility. Hundred is hundred percent. Come on, come on. Wardoyo. Some sort of there. She doesn't look too bad when she's actually in the point though, so yeah. it could also be a bit of a psychological thing where she's struggling a little bit. But it doesn't look like her mobility is affected that much while she's moving. Hopefully she's okay. Play. But if I was talking to Miyazaki, I wouldn't really change too much to be honest, even with this newfound information. Seems to be on a roll though, Nine. the Japanese shuttler. She's on a five point lead here. Fifteen. Yeah, I'm just wondering Nine. again, is this maybe possibly a combination of fatigue? What's just happened in the break? Could all be playing on a mind now. Yeah. 
16 9. She's pulling further and further ahead here. Miyazaki. Does look like Wado here has slowed her Seven movement down, so that could be con contributing nine. factors like the the injury or potential soreness in her leg. But we're starting to see her go back to the kind of taking the return of serve with low again, not right. applying any pressure. And then so she's starting each rally kind of off on the back foot where Isaac has just got the upper hand straight away. So it just makes it really difficult. 18, nine. It's like, it's like that big run she had earlier, Miyazaki. A bit passive as well, isn't it, from Bordeaux, which may not be anything she controls. She might be feeling completely maybe gassed. Gassed or physically, physically. with her leg. Yeah. She doesn't feel like she can lunge. Oh, that so was one she uh, really needed to go her 10, way. 18. Has it come? Just a little too late now for her. Angles again, Miyazaki. Oh. 11 18. Wardoya, you can have quick towel. We have quick towels, probably what she wants right now. Place back on court. Do you feel she's visibly trying to slow things down as we perhaps saw with Wang Tsui? I'm not so sure that's quite the case, is it, with Wardoyo? I don't feel so because uh, I don't see Miyazaki really <coughs> trying to push ahead here. Is that something you, do you think Miyazaki should try to do? Um, not, not necessarily, not, so much, not right? necessarily, I don't yeah. think. I don't think that Wardoyo is <coughs> really fatigued so that she can't recover between so the it's points. Over. Right. Not, not to not to the extent that we saw with, uh, with one yeah, yeah. yeah, where he was killed over and yeah, hands on knees kind of thing. Yeah, a couple of points though needed for Miyazaki to wrap this up, and she now has a whopping 20, nine match point points. Eleven. So it's over. Maybe a few 12, nerves there to finish 20. off this <laughs> this match to go into the finals here against Kim Ga Un, who won earlier today. Game. The special moment here for this youngster who's only a tender 17 years of age, Tomoka Miyazaki, into our first ever HSBC BWF Super 300 final. She'll be playing Kim ga Earn. What a, what a great moment for this youngster. Yeah, what a great opportunity for her to play against the likes of Kim ga Earn. We're also very impressed to see Wadoyo. I think we'll be seeing a lot of her in the future as well. Great fights between these two youngsters. Yeah, no surprises. Pretty evenly matched coming into this one. And so it proved to be our longest match thus far. But a fantastic moment, special moment for Tomoka Miyazaki. He's probably feeling the emotion of it now. There you go. She's got a great match against Kim Gaon. What an opportunity for her. And... Uh, we will take a short break and when we return we will have uh, men's singles, Lei Lanxi 
versus Kento Momota. That's up next. The match is coming thick and fast here at the 2023 Guangzhou 